and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. This is an application I tested out for the first time this year. I think I tested it out for the first time this year. I did a video or actually a couple of videos on it a while back, but uh, this has been one of the best applications I have tested out this year and it is called Luna Tasks and uh, Luna Task uh, or not Luna Tasks but Luna Task is an all-in-one productivity application sort of like an application like Bright even though I think this is much better than Bright. Uh, when I reviewed uh, Bright a long time ago I uh, said that I want this application to be good because an application uh, like Bright uh, would be amazing to have. Uh, Luna Task is that application. It does everything really, really well. It doesn't have the bugs. It even has good mobile applications as well. Um, so in today's video we are going to talk a little bit about this and talk a little bit about one of the major features they released this year. So this is another one of the end of year reviews and this time it is Luna Task. So let's jump into the first one. So here we actually have basic task management which is to be expected. Here I can let's make this full screen again. This was an issue I actually had a while back as well. Uh, it may just be me clicking too fast. I have a mouse issue as well. Uh, but here you have your calendar view uh, right here. So you can see your calendar and plan out your tasks. You can do quick notes right here. Uh, you have your uh, task and your logbook right here. So you can divide it into areas of life. So let's say you had task. In my case, I would have tasks for personal, uh, tasks for work, tasks for uh, social media and my I call it my side hustle, my uh, side business, call it whatever you want. I would probably have that as an area of life. So it all depends and you can easily just add um, tasks right here. And here you can see I have tasks. This is a 50 minute task. This is a YouTube related goal. I can also click on this and see where it is. So this is a goal in my goal uh, section. So this is, it says a goal in personal uh, task. Uh, so you can add goals inside of here, but I can also just add basic tasks like this and add uh, some information about that task. I really like how this uh, looks as well. I think it is uh, quite beautifully designed. Uh, you can choose whether or not it is due later, due now, or it is already done. I can give it a time estimate, I can give it a priority, and I can also give it a progress. And I like the fact that they don't have like uh, doing, uh, or in my case it will be reviewing, researching, writing, for example. They actually have percentages instead of tags, which I really do like. So I could say that this is 70% done. Uh, I, I'm i a big fan of that. I can also add reoccurring uh tasks. So for example, every Monday and Friday, every two days, every work day, I can choose uh, that if I had reoccurring tasks. So I really like uh, the task management inside of there. I think it is really good. Here you can see that I can add goals. Here I can also add uh, goals as well. I think I'm closing in on this goal. So if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe. Um, but you can add goals, you can add tasks, you can also press the plus button right here to add something. Uh, but apart from uh, tasks, which is an important thing in uh, your productivity application, you have notes as well, again, with the uh, with the uh, full screening. Uh, but you have uh, basic uh, notes here. So here you can actually write notes, you have formatting options here so you can format things what you don't have is actually backslash functionality which is something i know a lot of people like but you have a basic markdown you also have the ability to tag your notes so when it comes to note taking this isn't uh, as powerful as something like obsidian even something like craft it isn't meant to be that PKM uh, nerdy type application, uh, if you know what I mean. So I I personally uh, spent a lot of time in uh, different note-taking apps and I know that a lot of people uh, 
especially people watching my content, does a lot of the same things. They spend a lot of time in different note-taking apps and they find it really fun. This application is more for people who actually don't do that. This application is mostly for people who uh, don't uh, find uh, find it really fun to spend all of their time inside of different note-taking apps. They just want to be uh, productive. That is what uh, this application is for. But even though it is for uh, those people, uh, it also has a couple of cool formatting um, features. So it is a good note-taking experience. Uh, however, it isn't to the level of many of the other note-taking apps. You can also divide things into different notebooks. Uh, this application is end-to-end -end encrypted. So LunaTask is end-to-end -end encrypted. You can add a new notebook from uh, right here. So you divide your notes into different notebooks. Uh, you also have a habits section as I've talked about uh, before. I don't actually use this application, so I don't actually have a lot of habits in here or I haven't tracked my habits in here. But let's say you did, you could actually track your habits in here. You could press this, for example, and do uh, and do journaling from here as well. So it gives you a lot of different options. But basically, you have the ability to click and let's see if we can click in here and change your habit. Uh, you can also create bad habits, things you don't want to do, uh, and you can pause habits or delete habits. I like the fact that you can actually pause habits. You can also change the color of this. Uh, and I also like the fact that right within here, I can actually uh, go ahead and I can press uh, these smiley faces uh, down here or these faces down here and I can start to write uh, in my journal so I can say how my day was, my energy level, This, these two were a part or is a part of the pro plan uh, but on the free plan you can just do journaling here and when I talk about journaling this is the journaling here so you can see total entries, total memories, current streak and months of journaling and you can just uh, write within here and add different things within here. So. Here is a couple of examples of that. Um, and the newest thing they added is actually uh, the relationship tracker, which is really important, especially if you uh, struggle like me to maintain friendships. Uh, I have talked about this before, but I often feel lonely. And a lot of the times I feel lonely simply because I am terrible at uh, terrible at connecting with my friends. And that is why... Uh, personal CRM is amazing and that is what this is. So here I can record memories, I can uh, pick a date when we last connected, I can say that I want to connect every week on Friday for example or uh, I, if I wanted to connect every month I could do that. So it all depends on what you want but uh, with this you can actually um, you can actually use this application to uh, to track how um, to track how your uh, relationships are going and whether or not you are actually maintaining them. So let's say you wanted to improve this relationship, you can uh, do that as well and have that as a reminder. You can press a date where you agreed to reconnect. So this wasn't here the last time I tested it. Uh, this is also a really good addition. And behind my head here, there is a plus button and I can add a new note or a memory. So let's add a note, um, a gift idea, for example, a gift idea like this. Press uh, enter and we have our memory. I can add another one. So let's add a happy memory. That was a note. I can also add a happy memory. And so this is a happy memory had really Fun. And the only like difference here is that this is centered, so your memories are centered, your notes are uh, left aligned. That is the only difference I'm seeing right here. Uh, but this is also a great way to just remind yourself of the times you've spent with the people around you. This is one of the major uh, new things they released this year, and it is so good and 
such a necessity. I know that you can do things like this in different applications. So do, let's say Notion, for example, you could actually create a database for this, but that takes so much work. This is a native, uh, this is a native uh, personal CRM that you can use here again. I have another example of this. So here, for example, we have gift ideas, Lego. Uh, I've added that as well. Uh, so amazing feature. They are doing an amazing job at the development of this. The mobile app is also out. So uh, this is one of the applications I've um, I've looked at this year that I am the most like excited about. I think it is really good. I haven't been able to cover this enough, but I think that Lunatask is uh, one of the best applications on the market as an all-in-one productivity application. So if you're looking for something like that, um, then this might be your best choice because this is an all-in-one, all-round productivity applications. Things like Notion, Obsidian, they can be used as all, uh, all-round all productivity applications, but Obsidian is mainly a note-taking app with a plugin ecosystem. Notion is more of a no-code tool, so you can build everything, but this is actually made to be an all-in-one application, so I really like this, especially if you're not that into productivity. This is amazing for you, but if you're into productivity as well, this is something you should take a look at. When it comes to the pricing of this, you have uh, a free plan which gives you two areas of life, seven daily habits, 15 relationship, time blocking, urgency based uh, prioritization, task timers, work in progress limit, notes and notes book mood, tracker and journaling, email and browser integration and uh, Zapier integration as well. But with the $6 a month plan, which is the annual plan, it is $8 a month on the monthly plan, which still is great pricing. Uh, you get unlimited of everything and you also get the weekly habits, Eisenhower matrix, must, should, want method. This is something I really like. Energy level tracker, stress level tracker, note templates, calendar integration, and everything from free. And they also offer a lifetime premium for a, a one-time payment of $220. Uh, and the uh, purchase of the lifetime premium is not available in the mobile app or the Mac App Store version. So you have to download a Lunatask for Mac in BMG format from here. Uh, or uh, use Luna Tasks for Windows to make the purchase. Uh, so they also have a lifetime plan. But uh, I think it is quite fairly priced. And uh, if you're interested in checking out this application, just like I do with every other application, I will leave a link to it down below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below, and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. I said down below twice. Thank you so much for watching.